The human respiratory system deals with the air that we inhale and exhale. This system involves movement of air within the respiratory system. Let's now see what are the organs involved and what happens to the air once it enters into the lungs. Now, the outside air moves into a pair of nostrils. From the nostrils, it enters into the nasal passage. The nasal passage has got fine hair which traps the dust and other impurities and does not allow it to enter into the lungs. The, pass the nasal passage lining also has got mucus which helps to cool down the warm outside air and bring it to the body temperature before it enters into the lungs. Now the nasal passage opens into a structure which is called the pharynx. The pharynx is a common opening for both the uh, food as well as the air and after the pharynx we have the larynx. This larynx is made up of cartilage it helps to produce sound. It's also called the sound box or the voice box. Now, after the larynx, we have a long tube-like structure which is called as the trachea. Now, if you can see clearly, this trachea has got small uh, ring, uh, rings on its surface. If, if you can see the green colored structures, they are called the rings of cartilage which support the trachea and does not allow it to collapse between two sets of breathing. This trachea then branches out into bronchi, one each into the lungs. This bronchi then further divides, once it enters into the lungs, it divides into the bronchioles. Now these bronchioles finally end up into small air sacs or balloon like structures which are called as the alveoli. Now these alveoli have got an extensive network of blood vessels. This, uh, the alveoli also helps to increase or uh, provide a larger surface area for the exchange of gases. Now, as you can see in the structure, they are enclosed within the lungs. Lungs are elastic structures which expand and contract based on the movement of diaphragm. Now, this is the diaphragm. It's a dome-shaped muscular structure and when we take in air, the diaphragm moves down, flattening itself and creating a kind of vacuum. Because of this, there is a rush of air into the lungs and the lungs get filled with the air. Exactly opposite happens during the process of exhalation. The diaphragm moves up and deflates the lungs. So the air rushes out of the lungs. During this one breathing cycle, the lungs will always contain a residual volume of air uh, so that there is enough time for the exchange of uh, gases or rather the absorption of oxygen into the bloodstream. It is in the alveoli that the absorption of oxygen takes place. Now hemoglobin is a respiratory pigment in human beings which, is which has a great affinity for oxygen. It is present in the RBCs. So the oxygen from the air is taken into the blood here in the alveoli and carbon dioxide in the dissolved form is ex uh, brought into the alveoli and given out of the body. Now you've seen how the human respiratory system helps in the process of inhalation and exhalation allowing oxygen to be absorbed and carbon dioxide to be given out of the body.